Shut up, you're gonna listen to me, I listen to you, you're gonna listen to me. Now you come over here the other day and got a hundred dollars out of my drawer, right down in that top. And every time I touch you, it's a problem. I done took you to the Bahamas. I've been a daddy to you. That's what she used that. Yeah, you old enough to be my granddaddy. Why do you treat me like that? Yeah, because I got a bunch of daughters, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank yeah. God. Some fucking sons. Shit. Yeah, them sons, they will turn on you. You done took this nigga to football games and y'all been dressed alike, got the matching Tims on. Get old, nigga. And your son gonna meet some young girl and they wanna marry him and gonna say, uh-uh, your dad's gotta go in the nursing home. You gonna act like you taking your daddy to the motherfucking uh, White Castle, so. <laughs> Not the White Castles, but... Uh, <laughs> Look at some East Coast niggas, they like that shit. <laughs> white castles, white castles. Those motherfuckers will kill your ass. They come in a little box. You eat about nine of them motherfuckers, nigga, you are dead. <laughs> Look at the West Coast. What's a white castle? I know what y'all like. In and out. That's what I am, burgers. Oh. Love in and out. Smell like pussy. The whole neighborhood smell like pussy. <laughs> Onions and coochie everywhere. <laughs> if you out here in your life and you're doing anything wrong, that got something to do with some money, as long as you ain't killing no fucking with no kids and killing people and shit. If you out here, well, fuck that. You, sometimes you have to do kill a nigga. But a nigga will make you kill him. But if you out here doing anything wrong, that got something to do with getting some money, keep doing it. That's coming from Mike Epps. Get your motherfucking money. The country is a dirty motherfucker. They will let you die broke. Get your fucking money and don't feel bad. Right. But they gonna catch you. <laughs> Make sure you put that money up so you can have you a house. <laughs> no, for real, fuck them motherfuckers, man. Fucking trifling ass. This country is built off stealing and, oh man, then they make you feel, they give you a case. <laughs> Make you feel bad. Oh, you feel bad about yourself? Hell no. I caught a felony. Yeah, I caught a felony in an illegal country. This whole legal uh, country is illegal. They're using our social security numbers to, to borrow money off the motherfucker. Yeah. No, they ain't gonna do a motherfucker thing to me. I ain't got no money. <laughs> This nigga talking about they gonna do something to you, sure. <laughs> Illuminati, please. Let me tell you, one time I was at a party, right? I'm at a Hollywood party. Listen, nigga. <laughs> Are you real? <laughs> Jump down there and hit you in your motherfucking eye. That's, is that real? <laughs> Jump straight off the motherfucking stage, damn it. Fire on him. I was at a party one time, and here come a bunch of motherfuckers out the back. I guess they were supposed to be the Illuminati. They had on hoods and all that shit came out. Nigga, I pulled that pistol out, them motherfuckers jumped. <laughs> Illuminati, I don't motherfucker to death. Fire that pistol and watch a motherfucker get on out of there. <laughs> nigga, the devil run when he hear that pistol fire. Wow, <laughs> nigga, the devil. Oh, this nigga got a pistol. 
and pistol at me. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Keep doing wrong, man. Keep your life fucked up. <laughs> Don't try to be no good person all the motherfucking time. That's what Jesus died, so you could fuck up. <laughs> Run around this motherfucker killing yourself trying to be a good person. You're not good. You're a crooked Christian. You're around here trying to trick yourself and other people trying to, oh, I'm a good person. No, you're not. Enjoy being fucked up. Because I'm going to tell you something. When you're, you're not a, all the way a good person, you're fucked up a little bit, it gives God a little room to work with you. God will look at you like he's under construction. I can't call him home yet. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian. Because everybody thinks they're going to heaven and they're not. You're going to get up there and there's going to be some people that ain't got in yet. I'm still waiting on it, baby. I've been sitting out here. I've been sitting out here since 65 waiting on you. Right here on these steps, they let a whole lot of people in there that shouldn't have got in here. There'd be a nigga in front of the pearly gates. Man, tell Jesus me, man. Angel nigga standing in front of the motherfucking gate. This cheap tell Jesus me. It's Matt Tony out here, man. Jesus come out like a promoter, let all the bad bitches in, them two right there, let her in. Let those girls in right here. <laughs> Have y'all seen that new movie, View People? What about the Upshaws? Y'all seen the Upshaws? Oh shit, we coming back. Third season, y'all. Third season. Y'all can tell I didn't write that, can't you? <laughs> yeah. My buddy's like, oh, hey man, I see you in a movie with Tommy Davidson. I said, no, that's Wanda Sykes. <laughs> it's Black History Month. I guess this is a fine time to be black. That's what they say. But I enjoy being black all year. You know what I mean? The older I get, the, the more I enjoy being a black person. As, as hard as it is, I still don't want to be nothing but black. You know? Yeah, because most of us grew up poor. We never had shit, you know? And then we, we when we obtain shit, you know, that's like white people be talking about, man, I'm scared of the black people. We scared of the niggas too. <laughs> A nigga that's trying to do right don't want to be around them niggas either. <laughs> and if a nigga gets some money, he really don't get, um, get them niggas away from me. I don't want to be around them niggas. Where the white people at? Get them away from them niggas. You see the nigga and this girl around all the white people holding their hand. <laughs> Get them niggas away from here, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's some real shit. Because white people got some privileges that I, I, I'm not bullshitting. If I could just put some stock in it and buy it, I'll buy it. <laughs> they got invisible privileges. Like they get out the car when the police get out. <laughs> you hear two doors shut. 
<laughs> you want to tell me why the fuck you just pulled me over back there? <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Mexicans ain't got no license registration. If they hit you, you just hit. You stand in the street trying to ask them for some insurance. They talking about, uh, 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 insurance? Like, yeah, motherfucker, the insurance. Uh, hey, how about that? Uh, insurance? Yeah. This motherfucker, you have one of these in the car? You hit my shit. There's 10 motherfuckers in the front seat of the truck. Please pull them over. License registration. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? Yes. <laughs> Do you understand English? Yes. No, you don't. Say something in English. Yes. Kill one of these niggas walking around here. Oh, It'll be fucked up when niggas say, man, you know they they shot me. <laughs> Shoot the shit out your ass. I got bond and lawyer money. I'ma pop the dog shit out of you. Pop! I can't wait to see Chris Rock so I can see that nigga. Cause he that, that nigga always looked at me all funny style. When I see that nigga right there. There's a couple of them niggas that I don't really fuck with in the industry, and that, that nigga right there, he be nice to me when ain't no way. When white people come around, nigga act like he don't know me. I'm talking about that nigga, that nigga got slapped, that nigga got the shit slapped out of him. And I can't wait to see him. I'm gonna do him just like a real nigga doing. Nigga, what happened? You know a nigga don't give a fuck. Nigga, what tell me what happened that night? <laughs> well, as you can tell, uh, I'm talking about slap dog shit out of me. Sound like a 22 went off. Bang out! Now everybody kept asking me, what would you do? I said, fell on the ground. <laughs> To say my neck, my back, and my neck. <laughs> my neck and my back. I'm not letting no motherfucking billionaire nigga slap me. We going to people's court. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> see Will Smith come through the thing. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Jada in the back, ball here. <laughs> I got some papers in my hand. Your Honor, as you can see, this is where I almost died when you hit me. This is Black History Month, man, you know what I'm saying? Big shouts out, man. We got my man JD from the Lynch Mob in the audience, y'all. Give it up for JD. Welcome home, JD. 23 years in the penitentiary, you a bad nigga. Stand up, JD, give him up, show him some love. Y'all give it up for JD from the Lynch Mob. Look at that nigga right there, man. A West Coast nigga right there. Gorillas in the mist. Remember that Minister Society soundtrack, nigga? That's that nigga right there, man. It's Black History Month, man. We gotta start celebrating our black men, man. And our black women, you know what I'm saying? Woo! Coming to the stage, man, I'm gonna really fuck your head up right here. This brother I'm bringing to the stage did 40 years in prison. You know what I'm saying? 40 years in prison. 
In his time of doing 40 years in prison, before he went to prison, he bought the Apollo back in the 70s. And then Nicky Barnes told on him they gave him 40 years. <laughs> in the time that he did, 40 years, he obtained a PhD. He is the first black African American in the history of the Federal Department of Correction to ever receive a PhD. He's 75 years old, and he looked better than me. Y'all put y'all hands together for Guy Fisher, y'all. Come on now, Guy. This is what 75 and 40 years in prison look like. Guy Fisher, y'all. Good evening, good evening. <laughs> I can't get on him. I want to get on him, but I can't get on him. <laughs> no, nah, but it's still in there. We've been getting it short. Yeah, new, new game, new movie. Yes. He's going to be number one shortly for a long time. Yeah. And for all the things he don't say, he's a good guy, man. He got, he got a good heart. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, he's a good guy, he's a good guy. 40 years in prison and you became a doctor, man. You was 19 years old when you went to prison. No, he wasn't 19, that ain't right. I'm trying to make it sound like it was a 20, no, 60 minute interview of fucking years old. It wasn't 19, I was only 18. The first time I went to the joint, I was 18, man. And the, and the reason, it was a situation where I grew up, where you're in a situation where you can't tell on anybody. So when it comes time, if the officers come and somebody, the guys in the neighborhood say, yo, so-and-so did it, you can't say nothing. But if you say something, you're not going to say nobody no more. Not now, not now. But I did it, and after that, it just became a whole different ball game. Well, you know what happened? I'm going to be straight up with that. When I was going to court, it was 50 of us. It was 50 of us all in the same 